love is patient and love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast. It is not proud. It is not rude, it is not self-seeking. It's not easily angered and it does not keep a record of wrongs. It does not delight in evil, but it rejoices with the truth. Then Paul tells us what love always does. Love always protects, always trusts, always hopes, and always perseveres because love never fails. Russ, you have opened the eyes of my heart to a whole new dimension of love. Before you came into my life, I had no idea I could feel this deeply for another person. It has been my greatest blessing to walk through so much uncertainty of this world hand in hand with the person I am most certain of. Bridget, I have loved you for quite some time now. You're a kind and gentle soul, and I cannot believe I get to marry you today. Bridget, congratulations on your day. I'm really, really happy that you found Russ and just know that no matter what, uh, I will always love you and you have 100% of my heart, always, even when you're mean to me. I was thinking about this today. Both of you know athletics so well. The key to a great team is you got great teammates. You got a great teammate. Life's gonna go at you sometimes and it's gonna be tough. You got each other. With each other, you can make it. I vow to love you unconditionally and intentionally for the rest of my days. I vow to always protect you, protect your faith and trust in me, to protect our family and our home. I vow to cherish you and honor you. I vow to always cherish you, to share my innermost thoughts with you, to seek your advice and ask for your counsel. I vow to be gracious, to constantly forgive, and to accept forgiveness. Through sickness and in health, in good sales years and bad sales years, after a big win or a heartbreaking loss, and no matter who wins today's SEC championship, I promise to be your number one fan forever. I vow to love you to the day that I die, to love you in all circumstances and above all things on earth. I vow to always put the Lord first and you immediately second. I vow to always keep God first in our marriage, for it is with His faith, hope, and love and mercy that we found one another. I promise to lean on His understanding and not my own. I love you, Bridget. Therefore, what God has joined together, let no man separate. Russ, finally, you may now kiss your bride. It is now my pleasure to be the very first to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Russell Pilkington.